Mega Man X2, the second Mega Man X game ever made, is generally considered to be a lot worse than Mega Man X1. I mean, don't get me wrong, people still praise this game highly and say it's great, but when compared to Mega Man X1, people generally say it's a significantly inferior game. And I don't agree. I disagree entirely as a matter of fact, so today we're going to go over how to beat Mega Man X2 the cool way. And also, the fun way. Mega Man X2, the second Mega Man X game ever made, is home to the green biker dude, and today we are going to be beating it the cool way, as I've already said. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, hey, why are you making two Let's Play videos in a row? And well, first of all, these are not Let's Plays. This is how to beat the games the cool way, okay? And second of all, it's January, guys. We got to start the new year a little bit more relaxed. I've been grinding all December. I missed my holidays basically making videos for you guys. So, you know, I think it's okay to sit back, play some Mega Man X. Uh, Green Biker, dude. No. That was terrible. Mega Man X is going to have PTSD for the rest of this game. And I guess let's get right into it. We got to avenge our friend, the Green Biker, dude. Also, I have not changed my controls. I'm still doing the weird claw mechanic with my dashing using my index finger. And uh, I got a lot of comments saying you should change your dash to RB or R or whatever. And I do that with Mega Man X 4, 5, and 6 because you hold it down a lot more. But in this game, I don't know. It's weird. I've tried that before. I can't do it. I don't know what it is. Will I make it in time? Oh, I did. Thank goodness. Look at that big guy in the back. I hope I don't have to fight that thing. That would be awful. Oh, we got a boss already in the intro stage. What could this be? Oh, it's the big thing from the back. No! This is exactly what I did. What if I look how tall his health bar is? We stand no chance. I missed. Oh, gosh. It's all over for me. Gamers, we're going to die. This may be the hardest boss in video game history. You know what? We made it through. We may have gotten a little lucky there, gamers, but I think we can finally get into the game. I'll see you at the stage select. So anyway, we are, of course, playing Mega Man X2, and I am going to be getting 100% of the items, but I don't think I'll be fighting 100% of the X-Hunters just because I really enjoy the Zero fight. Normally, I would fight the X-Hunters and just, just to call it 100% for sure, but, like, I'm gonna get all the items. I'm gonna get the Shoryuken, and the X-Hunters are just annoying. I mean, maybe I'll fight them. Maybe I'll change my mind midway through the Let's Play. We'll see. I mean, uh, midway through the cool way to beats Mega Man X2, but really, I enjoy the Zero fight, so let's just get started. I always start with Wire Sponge, and people get mad at me and say, you should start with Wheel Gator, but let me show you guys firsthand why that's not a good idea. To start with Wheel Gator, that is. Wire Sponge is the best stage to start with. First of all, as soon as we spawn in, we already have a heart take. It's up here. Best secret of all time. For doing a best secret from every Mega Man game, X game, spoiler alert, that one might be it from this one. Maybe. Maybe. I said maybe. Yeah, this stage is also pretty easy, so it's a good one to start with. Not to say that Wheel Gator stage isn't easy, but you'll see my uh, point in a minute. I missed my dash. Anyway, this jump is annoying to make, but it is possible, so it might take me a couple tries. You do want to make this jump, though. Uh, obviously, if you miss, you fall into those spikes and die, which I'm going to try my best not to do. There we go. See, it's as easy as that game. Well, <laughs> I guess we got to do that again. I forgot there was a ceiling there. All right, gamers, we made it back up the jump, and this is why we want to get up here. Now we got a sub tank, we got a hard tank. We, I mean, we got everything we need, basically. Anyway, yeah, this stage is, uh, that that one jump is the hardest part of the stage. You don't even have to do it, so that should tell you everything you need to know about this stage, really. It's not that bad. I think you could also manipulate the weather when you have weapons. Actually, I know you can. I don't even know why I said I think. I, you definitely can. We're basically almost done with the stage. That was most of it. Like, you're not going to see the parts I edited out, but... I think 90% of the time I've spent on this stage has been trying to get that stupid jump just to get the sub thing. Maybe there's an easier way to do that, I don't know. But anyway, that's Wire Sponge's stage. Hopefully we can make quick work of Wire Sponge himself. There he is, Wire Sponge. Weird name for a boss, but I'm not gonna judge. Okay, I did not expect him to just jump on me like that. I'm gonna try to utilize the uh, dash shot more in this uh, video, by the way, because it is in uh, X1 as well. I pointed out next one. I said it was weird. I didn't know if it was a glitch or not. Okay. Okay, Wire Sponge. Listen here. Wow. I just got beat by Wire Sponge. Might have to delete my channel after that. Oh, he's doing his thing. He's getting mad. He's turning red. Ow. Oh, gosh. I almost died. Please, not again. Okay. There's Wire Sponge. Actually an easy fight despite me having one HP. I'm just I'm just getting warmed up guys. Give me a break We only have one heart tank I was trying to show off some dash shooting strats with my claw technique I mean, it's an easy fight if you want to do it damageless. It's still easy, but I was trying to do it cool. Okay, 
Gosh, guys, give me a break. Anyway, now we're going to do Wheel Gator stage, and you're going to see why. There's a lot of cool tricks you can do in this stage, and a lot of them have to do with Wire Sponge's weapon. Wow, also, guess what? Wheel Gator is weak to Wire Sponge. Why did so many people think you should go to Wheel Gator stage first? I will never understand. I think that's just crazy. But here we are. Second stage. I mean, that's pretty close to first. I'm not, I mean, you can play this game however you want, obviously. I'm not going to say you're wrong for playing a stage a certain way, but I will say you're wrong for telling me that I'm wrong for playing a stage the objectively better way. So here's the secret. So up here, you're supposed to need a dash boots because, oh, I can't get that jump. But guess what? Guess what? Okay, I messed it up, but that's what? That's what? Use Wire Sponge's weapon, you get this early! You don't even need the dash boot upgrade yet. We are gonna get it, because we're getting 100% of everything. But yeah, that's a pretty good reason to beat Wire Sponge first, I'd say. And we have the Buster upgrade, would you look at that. But that's not the only cool trick we're doing in this level, as you'll see. I could be using Wire Sponge right here as well to get some good horizontal movement, but I've never tried speed running this game, so I'd probably just kill myself and then look bad. Also, YouTube, I'm in the game. Don't, don't delete my channel. There's a glitch you could do with this guy, by the way. It has to do with charging this up. I don't know exactly how to do it. Like, normally you run out of fuel, right? Let me see if I can try it real quick. You have to, like, charge it up and dash and then, like, tap this. You, like, never run out of fuel. I don't know exactly how to do it. I'll show you in Crystal Snail stage if I can pull it off. But, yeah, I mean, look at this. This stage is awesome. We're on the bottom of a, of a flying tank uh, ravaging through a city in a spike-wielding ride armor mech. I mean, come on. It doesn't get much better than this, am I right? Now you see a heart tank up here. You would think we need the dash boots, and there's two ways to do it. I could be risky and jump from here and then use wire sponge and try to wall jump that, but that's that's hard. Here's the easy way to do it. Or in other words, the cool way. First try! First try! That's how you get that heart tank too. I think in the speed run they do use uh, wire sponge's weapon, but you know, for cool people, you want swag strats, that's a swag strat. People still say swag, right, guys? And look, it's sunset now. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Stages, I didn't even know that. Have I just spent too long on this level? <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I do know you can go back here and get a lot of cool stuff, though. I, can you not? Oh, there it is. It was probably just one big energy. But, I mean, that's cool. This whole part of the level is cool. I mean, this is just a great level in general. We all agree. I'm not even going to try to fight that guy. That guy's annoying. And here we are. Yet another cool boss corridor as well. I talked about some of the coolest in X1. If I ever do a video on that, this is a good candidate for X2. Just saying. Also, there is a glitch on this guy. I'll try to do it. I'll probably mess it up. I already kind of have. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. The glitch is you basically lock him in place. I already messed it up. You, it, I, I don't know how tight the timing is. I don't think it, it's not. It's definitely not frame perfect, but it's not uh, easy either. It is kind of frustrating. It's easy to mess up. How did I change away from my weapon? I didn't press RB, did I? What the? What the heck? I don't know. You saw me get him once. You saw me get a double hit once. You can lock him in that pattern. Somehow, yeah, <laughs> you could do it. I promise. I promise it's possible. I keep getting hit by these wheels. I feel like a noob. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I used all my weapon energy. I okay. You see, you see the glitch though, right, guys? Okay, you're gonna use two on me. Uh, how how do you go underwater so quick? Wheel Gator's really trying to pull a fast one on me. Now that his weakness is all used up, he thinks it's his time to strike. Little does he know he's wrong. Take that, Wheel Gator. I showed off your glitch, and I killed you with the plain old dude at the same time. Anyway, that's Wheel Gator. I like Wheel Gator. And look, it's nighttime outside now. Wow. We must have been here a really long time. With Wheel Gator defeated, the X Hunters are now after us. And I'm going to go to this guy next because I like his stage a lot. And also, I think you can still get all of the upgrades this way. Fun fact, Mega Man X2 and I think Mega Man X7 are the only games in the entire series where you can get every single upgrade without backtracking. And like I said in the X1 video, I don't really care about backtracking much, but I know you guys do, so I might be able to get every upgrade without backtracking. We'll see, guys. We'll see. I won't make any promises, but I will say it is possible but this stage is awesome this is one of my favorite stages ever and you're about to see why you might think i'm gonna go in here the kool-aid man way no i'm not i'm gonna do something way cooler than that i'm gonna do this i missed that was an epic failure guys you know what maybe i have to charge this thing up let's try it that way 
Oh, that almost works. I have, I've never speed ran this game. I don't know <laughs> how to actually do these strats. Maybe in the Mega Man X3 cool way video, I can show off some more, but I can always just wait for this guy to come. Oh my, good, good golly gee. No, go up, up my friend. Okay, I'm just, I'm just noobing out right now. There we go. That's all I wanted. There's a sub tank up here. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? We're gonna go in over the top, Bo Jackson style. Oh, that's what I want to see. Big energy. I don't know if this is the weapon I need, but I'm just gonna use plain old dude. I'm of course talking about this heart tank up here. Man, my platforming is not very good. Oh, am I gonna die? Am I gonna miss the heart tank? I've never missed that before. That's crazy. <laughs> Did I get it? I don't think I got it. And that's how you do it, gamers. Didn't even get hit that time. Easy peasy. Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. How am I ever gonna get across? Okay, not so bad. Now, I think there is an X Hunter on this stage already. A little bit inconvenient, but I'm not going to be going for it like I've already explained. If you wanted to, though, I think you have to get that guy to break down this wall, but he just... Where did he go? You could probably Neon jump up there, too, but yeah, up there is where the X Hunter is, if you're wondering. Or whatever they're called. I think they are X Hunters in this game, right? This X3, they're the Nightmare Police. Also, I'm not getting every extra life. That doesn't matter for 100%. <laughs> and we made it out of the mountain volcano. And we're going to take on Flame Stag, the horse. Yeah, we got the heart and the sub tank once again. I did wrong pause. I want to do this. We got two sub tanks. We have an upgrade. We got a heart. We're only three stages in. Look at us. This is how you beat Mega Man X2 the cool and the easy way, if I gotta say. And you might be wondering, why aren't you using his weakness? You used Wheel Gator's weakness. You, you went on a whole rampage about how you gotta beat Wire Sponge first. Well, that wasn't entirely because of his weakness. Let's be real. Hey, come back. I'm trying to do that dash shoot thing again, but that <laughs> I'm not used to that in my playstyle, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, I did not know his fight. It's been a while since I played X2 all the way through. I won't lie. I didn't know those went up walls, though. A little bit annoying, but it should be fine. Ow. Rude. This is an easy boss. So if I die, uh, don't make fun of me. Because that's not nice, but I probably deserve it. This is one of the first bosses I beat as a kid. Maybe the first I beat next to, other than Overdrive Ostrich. And even Overdrive Ostrich I may have beaten after this guy. I don't remember. It's not like I can go back and ask my child self which one I beat first. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. I didn't even have to whip out the sub tank. He's an easy boss. It took me a second to remember his pattern, but there's Flame Stag. Very fun boss fight, but also very easy. Not like uh, Toad Man, where he's a little boring and easy. And that's three Mavericks down. With three Mavericks defeated, I'm pretty sure we go to Overdrive Ostrich next, if I'm not mistaken. I could go to Bubble Crab, I could go to Morph Moth, but to get all the upgrades, I think I gotta go to this guy first. Morph Moth, we need Crystal Snail, and this guy, I could probably do that stage, but I normally go, this is the cool way, remember? I normally go to this stage, I like this stage, it's really easy, there's more upgrades, we get a free heart tank and another upgrade. I think it's the leg upgrade, and this stage is fun. I mean, look, there's Ride Borski right there. Oh, I thought I softlocked myself for a second. <laughs> That'd be crazy. All right, and uh, the X Hunter is in there. You use uh, this weapon, you can get in there. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, Ride Borski, there's, there's him. I don't know why he's based off this guy. I also don't know why he jumped at the end there. I wasn't expecting that, I'm not gonna lie. But look, it's a motorcycle level, yeah. Jump over that, you gotta jump over that. You can crash into... All right, well. I don't think we can get another bike, guys. Well, I wanted to keep the bike so we can get the heart tank the no death way, but uh, I guess I guess we're not doing that, huh? Now you can't. You might not know this. Contrary to popular belief, you can get this heart tank without uh, the bike. And I. Oh wait, I might need the dash upgrade. Let's do that first. It's right here, first of all. Also, laser. Got to use the laser. It's way faster. So it's okay. It all worked out. We don't need the bike. Who needs the bike? This is the new cool way. Sure, it's kind of swag to get on the bike and turn around just right, but who doesn't want to see a, a... I almost said the S word as far as YouTube's concerned. Who doesn't want to see a, 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 a valiant kamikaze into, into a hard tank? I think we could do it. I forgot. I That weapon energy made me not shoot. How? How? I touched it! 
There we go. Easy as pie. Easy as... That only took me... Uh, first try. That was first try, really. Anyway, at least now we can finish the level. We got the heart tank the cool way. That's that's much cooler than doing it the motorcycle way. The motorcycle way is overrated, I'd say. And we have the dash boots. So we got all the upgrades in this stage as well. And I believe this game, the upgrades are more balanced than Mega Man X1 as far as how they're spread out. Because in Mega Man X1, there could be an, uh, an upgrade capsule, a sub tank, a heart tank all in the same stage, and that's ridiculous when some stages only have a heart tank. But this game, I'm pretty sure, follows the principle that I made up saying that like each stage should have one heart tank and then one sub tank or capsule having two upgrades per stage, but again, maybe I'll prove myself wrong later in this video, we'll see. But we have a Maverick to fight here. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think this was the first Maverick I ever <laughs> beat as a kid. I've never seen him do that attack, though. that's crazy. I've seen him do that one many times. I've never seen him do the single boomerang. That's actually really funny. And he's off screen. So they gotta, he got to run all the way back there. So we dodge past him. Shoot him twice. And continue the cycle. It's one of the easiest bosses ever. If not the easiest. Okay. I meant to... Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Could always just do this. Again, I've never seen him do that attack, and he's done it twice. That's interesting. You can always just do this. Say, leave me alone. Yeah, this, this, the battlefield for this stage is so long, you could just slide as far as you want and make him... It's not the fastest way to do it, but if you have trouble with this guy somehow, this is how you make it easier. You just slide away from him, he goes into the background, you change directions, you don't stop sliding or dashing. Dashing, I should say. This is Mega Man X. And then, there you go. You kill the guy. With Overdrive Ostrich taken care of, I believe we can go on to Bubble Crab stage now. And this is just a fun stage. We have the sunset at the beginning. We have the banger soundtrack, as you've heard in my best music from every Mega Man X game video. We have a one up at the very beginning. I mean, what are we at now? Regular? Yeah, it, it's, it's like we never even died, guys. Also, oddly, there's a checkpoint right here. This is a checkpoint. <laughs> fun fact. I don't know why it's a checkpoint, but it is. And uh, we could do this. Well, bam. And he's not dead. He's not dead? Come on. There you go. Now he's dead. But first, we can't go down there yet. That'd be reckless and silly. First, we gotta do this. Get the heart tank, of course. You guys knew this was up here, right? Now, the sub tank, I do think, is actually harder to get, which is a little bit annoying, but... I don't know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, the sub tank's up here, and like you can neon jump and like get the sub tank that way, but I think there's gotta be an intended way to get it that's better than that, right? It better not be Crystal Snail. Oh my god, neon jumping is so hard on an Xbox One controller, but I won't give up. I think we need Crystal Snail to get that, and I don't wanna do a neon jump because I, I did give up. I'm just gonna game over, and we're gonna do Crystal Snail. Do we have his weakness? No. But who cares? At least we're coming out of this with a free heart tank. And you know what? Maybe I do care. Maybe I will go to Magma Centipede stage first. We'll see. Yeah, okay. I've decided to go to Magma Centip Magna Centipede just because we can get some more upgrades. We can go to Crystal Snail stage. And really, we're just a heart tank up because we got the one from Bubble Crab stage. So here we go. I know that was unprofessional. I should have just beat the stage and backtracked. But I'm trying to prove a point here, gamers. There's a way to do it without backtracking. At all. And I don't care about backtracking. I've made that clear. But... A lot of you guys do, so I'm showing you how to do it without backtracking at all. How do I get that block back? <laughs> I need to get the block back up. This is <laughs> Come back. I think it respawns, doesn't it? Does it not respawn? I thought you could respawn that block. Can you really not? Yeah, well, I, apparently you can't respawn that, but you can respawn every other block. That's cool. There we go. We just did the stealth way. Yeah, that block's there now. I really did think you could respawn it, and I still kind of think you can. But, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we could always do this, I think, right? Please. There we go. That's probably the intended way. I don't know why I was trying the other way. But yes, a heart tank. Yes, finally. There we go. That's all we needed. Just a little heart tank. Yeah, this section's annoying. Um, not hard, but it's like, bruh. We gotta sit here and wait. First, we have to activate it. Then we gotta sit here and wait. But yeah, isn't this just a great gameplay section? Waiting on blocks. Oh, yeah. So for this one, once again, I think the sub tank's up there. I'm not... Don't go in there. No, I won't be able to get it. So I don't remember what I'm supposed to do for this. I mean, I guess you just gotta dash and use this, right? 
Yeah, okay. I guess that's the intended way. Yep, there's a sub tank. Anyway, we, we got the Magnus Centipede upgrades. Let's go, gamers. Look at us. Three sub tanks in already. Oh, wait. This guy has a trick. But can I do it? Probably not. There's a way you could, like, just barely shoot your charged up wire, wire sponge weapon. And I messed it up. Okay. It's like a glitch. I don't think it's intended. But you know what? I can't get every glitch, guys. You know, maybe if the X Legacy Collection had checkpoint saves or save states like the regular Legacy Collection, I maybe I would be able to sit here and reset and show you guys all the cool glitches. But I can't. Because there's no save states. I just have to game over every time <laughs> and then load the stage back up. All right, we got all the upgrades, so no, no, none of this really matters. Let's just beat this stage and get it over with. Ow! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Also, if you want to do the X Hunter, it's up here. I'm not doing it, but if you want to do it, you can. Oh, wait. No, this is the X Hunter. <laughs> okay. No, this is where you're actually supposed to go. Got it. Also, this guy's weak to fire, right? Why are you not dead? Okay, there we go. I thought I was about to say everything I know about this game is wrong. No, I'm getting trolled, guys. Anyway, that's Magnus in a piece stage. A lot of trolling, a lot of waiting, a lot of boring stuff. But you know what? Not a bad stage. A little annoying, sure, but not a bad stage. What's this guy weak to? Oh, I think he's weak to Morph Moth, but eh, who cares? Maybe I'll take one death, but I mean, we even got a sub tank. I'm sure I have a life left, right? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, let go of me. Yo, weirdo. Okay, don't teleport. That's annoying. There is a glitch you could do with this weapon. I don't know how to do it. If you, like, wall jump on the right frame or something, his tail, uh, like, uh, I don't know what it does, but you can make him just stand still for the entire fight. I don't know what causes it. Maybe it's dashing on the exact right frame, but he basically just gets really confused and just stands still the entire fight. Again, I don't know how to do it. But you can. Okay, just just rude. Honestly, just rude. Don't eat me, please. I can't charge up my shot now. Great. Luckily, we still have the dash boot shot. Oh, this this just not cool. Not cool, my friend. Whatever. Still beat him. Lots of people say this is the hardest Maverick from this game. Maybe I said it. I don't even remember what I called the hardest Maverick from this game. Because really, they're all easy. I'm beating them plain old dude. We don't need weaknesses. We don't need nothing. We barely even need upgrades. I'm just getting them for you guys to say. Because I know if I didn't get 100% of the upgrades, you guys would be like, why didn't you get 100% of the upgrades? Also, it is fun to get the collectible upgrades. I mean, come on, right guys? Anyway, with Magnus Centipede Beats, we can go to Crystal Snail stage and have ourselves a pretty good time. There is one upgrade in this stage that I absolutely absolutely despise and hate more than anything and uh if i can get that ride armor glitch working properly then it should be fine but if i can't i might have an aneurysm so let's hope for the best gamers the upgrade is up here i think what you want to do is do this dash and jump <laughs> i guess i was holding up i guess i was holding up i didn't think i was i didn't think i was holding up but the game says otherwise and the game's the game anyway gotta love got oh my gosh gotta love the xbox one d-pad Okay, so I, I don't know how to do the glitch, but luckily it's not that bad of a jump. What? 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 I hate this D-pad! And I hate Crystal Snail! There we go. We got it. I think we still have both of our lives. Yep, we do. That is by far the worst upgrade to get in this game. You thought the Magnus Centipede ones were stupid? You thought the one in Launch Ostrich's stage was stupid? This one, I hate it. I don't hate anything more than this one. This is part of the reason I hate Crystal Snail so much. I won't even lie. But we got it out of the way. We got the heart tank. We got the crummy little heart tank, guys. So cool. Also, we can get the crummy sub tank <laughs> in Bubble Crab stage. Yeah, what a cool stage mechanic. Let's wait for the thing to go by before you can bring your ride armor in. I hate this stage. I hate it. And I'm pretty sure this is X Hunter, but let's just check. Let's just check. Oh, you can't wall jump on these walls. Nice. Cool gimmick, Crystal Snail. Let's get rid of one of the only things in Mega Man X that's really cool. Yep, and it's X Hunter. I just wanted to be sure. And then, and hey, if you didn't know where that was, now you do, and my ride armor despawned. Oh boy, do I love Crystal Snail. Not, I don't like Crystal Snail. He sucks. Hopefully I don't need my ride armor because I'm not going back for it. 
Unless, of course, I need my right arm, in which case... Oh, wait, you can skip this fight! Let me out! No! You can skip this mini-boss, but I forgot how to do it. Dang it. Now I look like a noob! Ow! Where'd that guy come from? It's a little over. You don't need two of these guys, do you? I think I think the way to skip this, you need wire sponge and uh, the, the burn wheel. You, you know the one. Do the fire thing. The thing you need for most of the upgrades in this game. So here's the worst armor upgrade in Mega Man X. The helmet upgrade. This is so cool. It shows you secrets. You know the x-ray scope in Super Metroid? Well, it's like that, but worse. Because it doesn't actually x-ray anything. It sometimes shows you secrets. In Super Metroid, you could use the x-ray scope to get into G mode and like wall clip and do all types of glitches. Here's what this does. It goes, hey, bozo. Here's, here's uh, the secrets. And you go, oh, sweet, thanks, an extra life. But yeah, isn't that awesome? Isn't that so great? I hate this stage. There's, I, I hate waiting, you guys know this. That doesn't mean I'm not patient. I just don't like waiting in a video game. Did I even trigger it? Ugh. That's crazy how the game can keep track of that crystal thing while off screen, but it can't keep track of my ride armor. Isn't that cool? How many bats are there? Why are they dropping any energy? Whatever, that's the stage. Now it's time to bully Crystal Snail. Part of me wants to just die to him. I mean, we have an extra life anyway. Because I, I want to I wanna really enjoy my time bullying him. I don't want to get messed up and killed. So let me let me refill my health real quick through the magic of editing. Oh, look at that. We have full health and we also selected a weapon. And I also lost a life. <laughs> this is a crazy edit I did there, huh? There is a way to glitch this guy's shell just completely out. And I don't remember how to do it. Otherwise, I would show you. But maybe I'll talk about it in the worst glitches video. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the best glitches video. I, I, I think I did. If I didn't, I at least thought about it while writing the script. But yeah, I want to bully this guy. We want to bully his shell around because Crystal Snail sucks. He's, he's, he's the worst. I hate this guy. You don't get your shell back, idiot. Oh, you want, you want your shell? No, you can't have it. No shell for you, idiot. Ah. Uh. Also, if you stand in the right spot, you can have the shell constantly bounce between you and the wall. But again, I don't know the exact way to do that. So take that, Crystal Snail. You're dead, and I bullied you the entire time. You are the worst Maverick ever. I hate you. Let's go back to Bubble Crab stage like we were going to do earlier. We already got the heart tank, but let's let's pretend we didn't have the heart tank already. There's no backtracking. Oh, this is totally my first time playing this stage. Oh, sunny background, cool melody in the back, in the background. It felt weird saying background twice in a row, so I avoided it, but then it became more awkward anyway. Oh, I got the heart upgrade. Yes, no backtracking. I got the heart upgrade, guys. So yeah, I think that enemy I just killed, what I really have to do is hit him hit him with one of these. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? That doesn't work. I feel betrayed. Why doesn't that work? This weapon sucks. This, this, this is the worst weapon from this game. I guess we just gotta get up there the old fashioned way with the, one of those classic downward left slopes. If you don't know, in Mega Man X, these downward left slopes, they uh, they send you really far for some reason. It's specifically downward and specifically left. Don't ask me why. But yeah, that, that worked. <laughs> I don't think this is intentional. I think you're supposed to use a uh, bubble crab's weapon and backtrack. But hey, guess what? You don't have to. I think you just jump, right? Oh. That was it. That was it. Also, don't ask me why downward left slope specifically give you more airtime. Because look, if I jump right here, that was on the slope. If I jump right here, this is my max height. I'm never getting it up there. But if I jump off this slope, I magically jump higher. Cool, huh? There we go. And that's how you get it without backtracking. I don't know why you have to do it like that. Or actually, I do. Because it's not intended. And uh, when stuff isn't intentional, it's usually weird. But there you go. And look, we didn't have to backtrack. Crazy, huh? Am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck. And I knew I wasn't stuck, quite frankly. I was just pulling your leg. Why am I pulling limbs, you may be asking? I don't know. That'd be funny. But hey, now we have every sub tank. All we need now is the chest upgrade, which... You guessed it, is in Morph Moth stage. Which means I was right. Mega Man X2 fixed their balancing issues with the armor upgrades and the sub... Okay, I'm not playing well because I'm talking to you guys. Let's just focus up for a second, all right? Also, this is the exit over here to the Maverick fight. Or not the Ma You know what I mean. The X-Hunter fight if you want to do that. But again, I want to fight Zero. It's fun. 
I like fighting Zero. But for now, it's time to fight Bubble Crab, whose weakness we do have. You can cheese this guy. You can hit him multiple times with the same shot if you get him like position. I think it's like over here. Come on, Bubble Crab. Yeah, yeah, Bubble Crab. Three times in one. Three and one. Come on, can we hit four and one? Can we hit four and one? Take that, Bubble Crab. Get cheesed. That's how you beat Bubble Crab the cool way. We now, of course, only have one Maverick left, which is Morph Moth the Butterfly. And of course, if you aren't in on the joke, I know he's a moth. I'm literally saying Morph Moth. I can read. Well, I can't read, but I know it's on the screen, okay? I know that much. It's just funny to call him a butterfly and watch people in the comment section think that I'm stupid because I think that's hilarious. Also, Easter egg, this this piece of ground looks like uh, the enemies from the intro stage of Mega Man X1, and this is a junkyard, so that's cool. Right? Isn't that cool? I think I was supposed to freeze that guy. There we go. That's what we want. So yeah, that's why we had to go to Crystal Snail to get the one up and the last heart tank. Oh yeah. You're probably wondering where where's the last armor though? You haven't revealed that. It's right here. Kablam. Look at that. And uh, we also use the laser to save time instead of the wheel. The wheel does feel more satisfying for whatever reason, but the laser's cooler. Let's be real here, guys. And we got all of our armor. We have everything. We have all four sub tanks. Oh yeah, this gives us the giga attack, which is like... I'm, I'm never going to use this. I hope it also halves your damage the same way it does in Mega Man X1. I don't... I didn't read that. I can't read, like I've said. How many lives do we have? Five? My gosh. Oh yeah, this guy's weak to uh, this... I don't even think I need to be charging it up, but you know what? Whatever. What? Sometimes you gotta charge it up. Right, gamers? Is he... Is he able to... There you go. Yeah, this this is kind of annoying. Ugh, oh, I missed. Come on. Are you kidding me? Boo! Boo! There we go. I think this guy actually has a different weakness than the robot itself, but at least we got an extra life out of that. These guys are ugly, right? My, you know, uh, you ever seen the movie Robots? There's, uh, oh my gosh, I can't control anything. <laughs> These guys are on my head. Get off of me. In the movie Robots, there's a robot that's really ugly, and it looks like that guy. I, I'm not going to edit in a picture of it, so don't ask, but if you've seen that movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, I think he's weak to this, right? Oh, I didn't have time, bruh. Okay, now I'm going to pause cancel that weapon out of there so we don't make the same mistake again. Okay, yeah, he is. That's weak to this. Okay, you guys know the drill now. Maybe I failed in the video, but at least you guys have the information you need. Right, gamers? Right, Tutor P. Oh, you hear that? That wasn't me saying that. That was one of the gamers. I may be a gamer, but I, I didn't say that. Might have sounded like me, but... Okay, I, I keep switching to bubble while charging. Bad idea. Bad idea. It's just like the flamethrower for Mega Man X1. Anyway, here's Morph Moth. That doesn't look like Morph Moth. That looks more like a cocoon. Let's burn this thing. Maybe I'll get Morph Moth to show up, huh? Oh, that would have been a perfectly timed shot. But no, his debris had to get in the way. Is Morph Moth a guy? I don't know. I mean, like, by guy, I mean boy. Or is Morph Moth a girl? Morph Moth is very pretty either way. I mean, let's be real. But I just realized, unlike in the classic series, the Mega Man X Mavericks don't tell you, like, man or woman. Like, there's, there's like, you know, like, Flash Man and Splash Woman. Y you guys know. You've played Mega Man, I'm, I'm sure. Anyway, that was Morph Moth. Regardless of his gender, of their gender, they're a very beautiful creature. A very beautiful butterfly, might I add. And would you look at that, we killed every single Maverick. It's time to go up to Sigma's Ice Fortress. Dun dun dun. Also, we have every upgrade. We didn't even have to backtrack. Isn't that crazy? Only this and Mega Man X7 are the ones where you can do that, I think. I'm pretty sure. I know what's below me. It's spikes. I'm scared to do the cool strats. Just kidding. You should never be scared to do cool strats. Never fear when cool strats are near because this is the cool strats and this is a video on the beating the game the cool way. Did you see that? We didn't even we didn't even see spikes. I don't even know what a spike looks like. I missed. Oh well. Where's that guy going? I hope he's not going to close another wall. That'd be an Oh no, he's going to close another wall. I don't think I've ever died to a wall closer, but there is always time to do that, so you can never be too careful. It'd be really funny if I died to this one, right? Nope, that's the easiest one of all time. Alright. Is this a hole? 
I feel like this isn't a hole. What is this? Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I, I think this is the worst part of the level or something. <laughs> No, no, it's not. I got another extra man. What? Thanks, claw machine. Oh, we got to do this, though. I see. I see. This is the cost of falling in that hole. I, I've never been down here in all my years of playing Mega Man. I, I knew it wasn't a hole, but, like, I don't know. I've just never been here before. Gotta love this section, though, right? Here's how you uh, deal with these guys the easy way, if you want to know. And they're dead. Except for this. Except they respawn. And I forgot to jump. There's two ladders for some reason. Oh, not another one of these guys. I still have not died to them. My record is flawless. And that's the whole stage. Who do we fight first? It's a uh, violin, right? I don't know why he's called that, but if it is violin, his weakness is bubbles. And you can cheese this guy, fun fact. So you, what you want, this guy can be hard. So you might want to know how to do this. Just stand here. You will take damage, but I'm pretty sure he dies first, right? Keeping an eye on my health. Yeah, he just dies first. Easy fight. Just stand on top of him. <laughs> what? How could my circus be over? Are you kidding me? I just stood here. What do you mean, what? Get wrecked, noob. Yeah, that's that's how you cheese violin. I've heard a lot of people say that this boss fight is hard, and it honestly is. It's one of the harder boss fights, and uh, that's how you cheese it. Forget dodging the spike with your Mangekyo Sharingan. That's all fun. Maybe that would have been cooler to watch, but... I gotta give you guys some tips and tricks every now and then, right? That's the point of this video. Oh, here's the worst stage in the game, as I said in a recent video. But it's not, it's not that bad. It's just kind of annoying. I'm just getting hit by everything. Ooh, do you see that swag strap? Ooh, ooh, no! I'm gonna miss my bus ride. Stop! I missed the bus. Gamers, my fellow Americans, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I missed the bus. What was the point of the swag try if I'm just gonna miss the bus? Am I right, guys? Uh, the bus is here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just got kicked off the bus. What is this, transit? Okay, I think you're supposed to, like, slide on the edge. Whatever. Who cares? I probably could have even damage boosted that last bit. Is this, uh, one of these? No? It is. What, how, did I miss? What even is this way? I don't remember. Wait, I'm not going that way. Frick that. It was probably an extra life or something. Who cares? We have so many of those. Do we have nine yet? We have eight. We could have used that. Now, what do I do? I think I'm just going to go in here and die on the spikes to get my health back. Because there is a cool trick I want to show you with this guy, but I'll probably do it wrong. So let's just let's just get this out of the way. Hopefully, there's a checkpoint there. I pray to bruh that there's a checkpoint there. Anyway, if you could do this right, you want to charge this up. Walk in here. At some point, you shoot this. Okay, I I made it go up way too much. There's, I think you can make it go up and down. Anyway, there's a way to blow up all four of those uh, stinking things immediately, and I'm dead. We'll get another chance to do it. I'm glad this stage gives us time to like sit here and prepare. Oh, I can literally control this. Ah, uh, I think I messed it up. Oh well, I'm getting trolled out here, guys. Okay, we got we got a lot of them. All right, now let's take this guy down once and for. Okay, he doesn't take a lot of damage from the charge shot, so I guess we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, I'm gonna use a sub tank. We have the room to spare. Why not? Hopefully, I don't have to use both. If I have to use both, I might go fill the other one back up off camera or something, because that's annoying. Luckily, there is an easy way to do that, so maybe it'll be on camera and I'll show you guys how to do it. Am I dumb? Is this not his weakness? Not on the spikes! Please! I'm running out of his weakness. This isn't good. Okay, you have to hit him directly in the head. Or face or whatever. No, you don't. Alright. This is just weird. Okay, I'm, I'm actually just been trolled. Please don't die now. I don't want to sit here and fight this guy without sub tanks. This guy's actually really hard. This is annoying. I even know like the pattern that he's shooting the things out of, but that doesn't matter. He's just hard to hit. Can I clutch this, please? No, I'm one hit away from death. No. Oh, I might have to farm sub tanks for this guy. But I have 800 lives I have to waste first. <laughs> no. And I'm out of his weakness. Can I exit? Oh my gosh. I'm actually about to have to just 
<laughs> oh my gosh. This is a secret farming room, by the way, guys. Just go in here. You use uh, Morph Moth, the butterfly's weapon, and charge up. You get a bunch of health. And uh, there we go. We have all four sub tanks filled. Really not that bad. And we finally made it back. I have four full sub tanks, but I only have one life. So if I mess this up, I'm going to have an aneurysm because I'm going to have to go back and do all that over again. And you guys all know what I did. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can we get the trick? How did that how did that not do anything? I'm baffled. Okay, we got two. We got two that time. Come on, one more. I mean two more. I don't know why I said one. Alright, we, we we did get one more. We got them all. Okay, okay. Frankly, we got a good start going on here. I was about to say let's try to be as wasteful with uh our weapon energy. But then I messed up. Alright, we gotta use a sub tank already. Is he weak to Magnemine? He might be weak to this, actually. Okay, well now I feel like a, a complete dunce. Because we probably could have done this without sub tanks knowing that. I was sitting there wasting Magnemize. I know the first part's weak to Magnemize with that strategy I was doing. But look, look at his health bar now. He's dying real quick. Okay, this is a lot harder to land. But you know, we could do it. I mean, he's almost dead. Why even? That was not the weapon I wanted to use there. Can we do this? Come on, damage him. Yeah, we used the weapon. We did it. This is impossible. Yeah, right. It's impossible. And we only used one sub tank. I sat there and grinded so long to get all four of those sub tanks. And look at us. We only needed one. We needed two last time. We still died because I didn't know what his weakness was, apparently. This is why you always watch Tudor P's videos, because now you know how to beat this guy. <laughs> if I had watched my own video in the future, I would have known how to do it. All right, now we have the last real stage before the refight stage and then the magnus centipede return stage and this stage is pretty fun but it's also long and uh we got to get the hadoken and i'll be real i don't know how to use the hadoken i think it's like forward down down forward just like it is in street fighter i mean uh tekken how do i get these how do i get these do i have to do this what what am i stupid How do I get those? Look, I'm even using the... Alright, well, I guess I guess I'm getting trolled. I did not step on that twice, you jerk. How many... What what registers as a step on here? Alright. Whatever. Now, if I knew what a neon jump, I could just skip that. But, I'm not good at that. Are you serious? I'm getting trolled! Man, I hate this. Can I just skip this? Yeah, I can. Who needs neon jumps? I need neon jumps. Because if I had neon jumps, I'd be able to do this by skipping it. But uh, I can't. Is this enough? Okay, yeah. We, we, we can get through the rest of this, right? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. We can. No! Oh, I thought I was dead. We can get through this. We don't need that stupid platform. Look at that. Look at that. Who needs neon jumps? Not me. Okay, okay, okay. Get back to my regular weapon, please. Okay, I needed one of those bats. All right, get over here. Come on, you know the drill. Come on, bat. There we go. And this is where you get... Oh, and there's another extra life. Look at that. Look, look at us. All right, now this is hard. This is really, really hard. I don't know when I need to use this, so I'm just going to get it ready. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're starting off hard. I hope there's a checkpoint near here at least. Come on, please. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. And there's an extra life up there, so this should be fine. I'm pretty sure the extra lives respawn in this game, so this really isn't that bad. This could have been a lot harder than it was. That's all I'm saying. Whew. Can we do it? Okay, okay, that's not even where we need it. We need it here. And you also can use a wire sponges weapon. If you didn't know, but this is the hard part. Yeah, this. <laughs> oh dear. And there we go. As easy as that. And now we do have to use a sub tank fully because this isn't Super Metroid where we can use our reserve tanks to our discretion. But yeah, unless I do something dumb, I think this is it. You just slide on this wall. And if you got your upgrades, Dr. Lights will let you in. Please tell me I got all my upgrades. There it is. What is this? Wow, you are so cool. I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. Calm down, Dr. Lights. My goodness, this is a little, this is a little extreme. All right, what is it? Forward, down, down, forward, right? So forward. 
Okay, that's hard. Okay, that's not that bad. This is more forgiving than it was in Mega Man X1, I feel like. Because in Mega Man X1, you gotta do a quarter circle, and that's just awful. Okay, I almost just ruined it all and, and fell into the spikes. You do have to be at full health to use this, so that's great. So I do have to use another sub tank if I want to try the, uh, the Doken here. But I only have one shot. This boss was basically made for the Shoryuken. Because of that. Let's go. Take that, Agile. You stink. You stink. You just got one hit. I'm standing on spikes right now, you idiot. And that's basically the last Sigma stage. And you know what? I will refill my sub tanks. I'm not going to need them against the uh, refights, but uh, I might need them against Sigma just in case. I probably won't need them, but you know, better safe than sorry. Right, gamers? I, I just want to exhibit good habits to you guys, you know? Plus, there's a, there's a one-up. And it's as easy as that. Look at us. I mean, why not refill them when it's this easy? Again, I wouldn't do this if it was X1 or X3 because it's not that easy. But if we could just do this and then go back to Sigma like like nothing happened. I mean, I wasted two sub-tanks just to shore you can a guy. Oh, look at this. A throwback to Mega Man X1. Let's noob wall jump. Mega Man X1 Sigma's final stage, that is. Yeah, noob wall jump. Okay, I'll admit, I just like playing Mega Man X2. I don't want this video to end. I'll try the Shoryuken, but the second I get hit, it's be unavailable. And <laughs> I get one of the hardest bosses to do it on immediately. But we'll try. Oh! Did you see that? Pro gamer! And if you want to be as pro of a gamer as that, just subscribe. All my subscribers will tell you in the comments. They'll be all like, yeah, yeah, I'm a subscriber. I know how being a pro gamer is. Okay, I missed. I hit him and he didn't die in one hit. Ooh, ooh! I'm just beating these guys up. Refight shmi fights, am I right? <laughs> oh, there's spikes on the ceiling. I hope those don't kill me. <laughs> well, I've been hit. Okay. We are no longer uh, sure you can in, guys. We're just gonna cheese bubble crab. Let him get hit three times by the same shot. I hit the spikes! I hit the spikes! Are you kidding me? I almost hit him again. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Yeah, okay, we, we beat him. That's the easy boss. Is there enough health for me to just fill my thing back up? I'm not using a sub tank, I refuse. All I get is four lousy tiny energies. That's so cool. Thanks, game. Oh, luckily this guy's easy. What's, what is he even weak to? Crystal Snail, right? I've never used his weakness against him ever. Okay, yeah, he is weak. To I got scared when it bounced off him. I'm like, <laughs> what is he weak to if it's not Crystal Snail? He landed on, what is, why do the stages change in the refights? Okay, I thought this was Overdrive Ostrich. This is awkward. Well, I tried to shore you can. It didn't work. Wh what did I get hit by? Did I get hit by that thing in the wall? What is that? Why is there a thing only on the left side of the wall? Yeah! Aw. Oh. As soon as I said something about it, you stopped doing it. You, you can troll him, though. We have video evidence that he can be trolled. He instantly went back into the disgusting water. Or blood, or oil, whatever this crap is. What is he swimming? Is this poo water? Is this poo water? Don't be poo water. Come on, wheel gator. That would be... That'd be very demeaning for a crocodile to be in poo water. Luckily, he's easy. Anyway, back to this jerk. I'm gonna try to shore you him, and if I don't, I'll just cut to me killing him. I missed! Ooh, punched him in the head. Okay, well, that was fun while it lasted. And he's dead, okay. Still an easy fight, I barely lost health. And I even got to shore you can him once. Unlike in Mega Man 1, it's not a one hit kill. It does like some amount of damage and then every frame you touch him, some amount, I don't know how it works. Oh yeah, Morph Moth. Take that, ooh, oh, okay, well. <laughs> there goes my Adoken powers. I beat up his first half though. Easy fight. How did I lose so much health? Where did it go? <laughs> what? I wasn't paying attention. I was just killing him. All right. Well, Morph Moth is dead. Ooh, Wire Sponge. Back for revenge, huh? Ow. Hey, hey, cut it out. Stop fighting back. Accept your fate. Oh, he's getting mad. 
He's turning red. This is like Gemini laser almost. <laughs> it just bounces off the room and makes lag. And he's cut in half. Get cut in half, noob. What is this, crystal snail? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a shame we don't get to sure you can crystal snail, but I'm not wasting his sub tank on that. We're just gonna have to bully him the old fashioned way. Come on. Oh, it didn't work. The shell pushed me out of the way. I was in the wrong position. We almost got to bounce the shell for eternity. That would have been so cool. Oh, well, I think that's the last refight at least. Oh, everything's exploding. No. Oh, yeah. It's time for the last stage of the game. And we get to do the zero fight. I love doing the zero fight. I am out of practice with the zero fight. So I, I might like die a couple times, which would suck. Well, I'm not going to die a couple times. I might get hit a couple times. But that would be annoying. And again, I don't know why this is the same stage as uh, Magnus Centipede. I've brought this up before. I mean, it's cool, I guess. It is like a secure facility, but like, it's just a little silly, right? I mean, this stage already sucked. Maybe they ran out of room on the cartridge. I doubt it. That seems weird. But like, come on. Maybe they ran out of time developing the game. I don't know. I wasn't there when they made this game, believe it or not. <sighs> I'm really glad we get to do these blocks again. You know how much I love these blocks. So cool. So, Oh, wait. Should I try to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> I don't think the glitch works when Zero's alive, but we are in the middle of the room. Maybe it'll glitch out. We'll see. We'll see if it glitch. I don't think it's going to glitch. Yeah, if the glitch worked, the floor would have blown up. So we did something wrong. Okay. I love this fight. This fight's so fun. He's weak to flame, I think. Okay, he's giving me a really easy pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I was hyping this fight up so much. This is the whole reason I did the video. Why is he doing this? There we go. That's what I want to see. Yeah, break the ground, Zero. Yeah. There we go. Now be my friend again, Zero. Snap out of it. I guess I remember you. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. Hey, Zero, what, what was the deal with what you did in Mega Man X1, huh? I, did, I didn't need you to do I could have killed Vile. We could have just teamed up. All right, Zero just punched a hole in the floor. He's really strong, guys. I don't think I could do the invincibility glitch by Shoryuken in here, but we'll still do it for style. Oh, I'm not at full health. I'm a dingus. What is... Part one Sigma weak? He's weak to uh, this, I think. Okay, let's go. Now we get to fall for a million years. And Zero did punch the ground so hard that there was a hole in it, but he also punched the ground so hard that we appear in a room with a ceiling. I don't know how Zero did that, but probably because he's epic. Zero is so cool. All right, this is probably the easiest iteration of Sigma that I'm aware of. Ow, that not a good start. That's been a while since I've played him, but I remember this Sigma being easy. <laughs> Ow, stop. Stop, Sigma. Stop it. Uh... Okay, I'm about to die. So let's do this. Are we at full health? We'll try a quick old sure you can. Nope. Okay, well, we'll be okay. Ow. Sigma, don't do that. Sigma, stop. Stop turning yellow. It's weird. Anyway, that's the first iteration of Sigma. And uh, if this is anything like X1, you'd probably think, oh, this next iteration is going to be so hard. And it kind of is because he has an absurd amount of health. I think he has like double the health of normal bosses, but he's not that bad. And if I can sure you can him, easy. In fact, I'm so confident I'll use a sub tank right now just to get a sure you can ready. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> okay, well... Forget the shore you can. I tried to do it. I didn't. I thought there'd be like uh, any indication at all whatsoever. Look how he changes colors though. Isn't that cool? Also, he does spawn in enemies. And like any boss that spawns in enemies to give you more drops, I mean, it can't be that hard. This version of Sigma is cool though. They're using that uh, special graphics chip on the Super Nintendo. They're really showing it off because he's wireframed. That's how he works. And I like that he changes. Oh, we got full health. We could try again. Okay, well, what a waste. 
I don't know. This is an easy fight, though. I I might not have to use a single other sub tank. Okay, stop, Sigma. I ran out of your weakness. This sucks. Spawn more monsters. Thank you. I guess they're robots, not monsters. I shouldn't call them that. That might make them upset. Okay, they're not dropping anything anymore. Bit annoying, bit annoying. Oh, that's what we like to see. First, just, just for good measure. And also, wait, we could do a sure you could hold up. Oh, what if I did that? Oh, you just, you just wanted to spawn on top of me, huh? Well, it, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. You're dead. Oh, he's freaking out. Windows DVD logo, guys. Windows DVD? Just the DVD logo. You know what I meant. What are you jabbering about? Oh, he just, he just went right into the machine that powered everything. Nice. He lost to me again. Each defeat only makes him stronger. But something's not right. Why does Zero... Oh, they're, they're hinting to the fact... Wait, he just said he was the last of Sigma's creations? Oh, he's talking about Dr. Wily. But how does Sigma know about Dr. Wily? Maybe I should make a game theory video, huh, guys? Game theory video? How does Sigma know Dr. Wily? Question mark? I guess he is infected with the Zero virus, which Dr. Wily made. But I, 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 who, who knows? Who knows? It still could be a good video. Just going over the storyline could be a good video. I mean, it's confusing. And cool. But yeah, that's uh, Mega Man X2. We beat the game. Let's look at these credits. We're looking into the sky. We see uh, the night sky. I think that's a cloud at the bottom. I don't know why we have this letterbox cropping going on here, but it's cool. We're going black and white. Uh, sepia tone. Everybody loves that. Oh, except for Zero. Look at him. There he is. And there's me. Mega Man X. Oh, it wasn't set via tone. The sun was coming up, of course. Joined by his friend Zero, Mega Man X gazes over the sea. I see we once again have slow moving words. Sigma has once again been destroyed, but X wonders if the fighting will ever truly end. Was Dr. Light's dream of a world in which reploids and humans live together in peace merely a dream? Full well, dramatic X. I mean, it's just Sigma. You can take him out again. You seem to be doing a pretty good job. The price of peace is often high, X thinks to himself. Who or what must be sacrificed? for it to become reality. Well, I mean, Zero's back, so probably no one. I think, I think we're good. And when the time comes, will he be able to do it? Is this alluding to another X versus Zero battle? Surely that'll never happen again. The future holds the answers, or dot, dot, dot. What? What? Or what? What? You're just gonna leave us on a cliffhanger like that? I wanna know what X was thinking. All right, well, here's the actual credits, I think. There's probably another credit. Or here's, this is the Mega Man X2 cast. We get to look at the enemies, the enemies' names. I'm never going to call them by their real names, unless I feel like it, in which case I will. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try to show off some cool tricks as usual, because this is the cool way to beat Mega Man X2 after all. And of course, I'm not going to just be uploading these uh, walkthrough, cool type video, let's play things consistently. I'm not gonna do this every single upload, but I basically haven't had time Time off in a while. I grinded all December, so I'm trying to do some more laid back videos since YouTube would not allow me to have a real vacation. I don't know if you've heard about this algorithm guy, but this algorithm guy, if he says if I miss an upload, it's over for my channel. I'm getting cut off entirely. So to avoid that, I'm trying to give you guys these fun let's plays, but you know, hopefully you guys still enjoy these. I do get comments asking for these sometimes, so I assume you do, and they're fun to make. I mean, I just get to play some Mega Man X. That's very fun. There's not much more that's fun to that, if I'm being real. But anyway, that was Mega Man X 2. I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed, but let's go see real life tutor P to end this video off right that was how to beat Mega Man X2 the cool way as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing Mega Man X2 because frankly it seems like after Mega Man X1 people really don't give X2 or X3 a chance and I don't think that's fair because I think both of these games are easily at least on the same level as Mega Man X1 but I guess we'll find out about Mega Man X3 whenever I do the next cool way video whenever that'll be who knows when it'll be maybe it's this Wednesday Maybe it'll be in a few months. I don't know. I don't have a schedule right now. So leave a comment down below if you have any specific videos you want to see me make. Because everything's on the table as of right now. But you do have to be subscribed if you want me to listen to you. That's the only way.